Welcome back to RZ Easy Customizer We Build, We Share, and We're Inspired. This week, we have a new episode of Let's Customize featuring Bandai 30 Minutes Mission Plastic Model Kit. In this series, I'm going to share on how to customize in simple way without any extreme modes are needed, such as cutting, gluing, or drilling any parts. All you need are the model kit and spare runner like this. So, in this video, let's make a transformable centaur. For this Cento, I'm using the base of Porta Nova black in color and two units of spacecraft from the extended armament vehicle also black in color and for the weapon i took one spear from this customized weapon set number 11 and some joints from any 30 minutes mission model kit these are all the parts that you need from the set that i mentioned earlier you can pause this video to view it parts from the two set of spacecraft parts from portanova parts from any 30 minutes mission model kit and spear from the weapon set let's start with making the leg boosters grab this part and connect it to this pack right here get this tiny three millimeters per runner and slide it in like this do the same thing for the other three sets and you will have four total boosters two set for the left legs and the other two set for the right legs Next, grab this part and remove this piece from it for all four set of legs. Make sure the leg is in this kind of position and then use this extra fit design from the spacecraft and connect it to this pack right here. Next, open up these knee joints and put it like this and we're gonna use this tie design from the spacecraft because this one looks pretty cool and make sure to put back the knee joints cover at the back here and reposition the tight and we have a new leg design make sure there is a ball joint inside the tight before you put in the leg joint do the same thing for the all four set of legs grab the booster that we made earlier and put this back inside this hole like this and this is for the left leg for the right leg same thing slide this pack inside this hole right here repeat the same step till you get this kind of design for the backpack grab this part and connect the joint right here and this square piece just connect it like this grab this part with the pack and connect it on this side do the same thing for the other side and fold it in this kind of position at this end, use this other joint and this piece from the spacecraft. This will become a tail and acting like a stand for the building. For the rear set of legs, use 3 mm per runner to make new packs. I'm using this piece from spacecraft for some additional design to this build. Next, grab the Portanova and assemble the new head design. Use the same backpack of Portanova, put it back here. Find another 3mm spur runner and slide it inside this hole here so we can attach this small piece from the spacecraft to extend the shoulder armor for extra details. Do the same thing for the other side. Grab another 3mm spur runner and use these two holes at the back. Next, connect both legs to Portanova. Attach the backpack using these two packs that you made earlier. Make sure everything is fit perfectly in place. You need to make a few adjustments for this leg before attach it to the back of Porta Nova. Do the same thing for the other leg. To attach the legs, use this hole here and put it to this pack on this side. Do the same thing for the other one. This part will act as a stand to hold the weight of this build. Finally, the man weapon. This is Portanova in mecha mode or the fighter mode. It is so simple, so straightforward, and it is tall because of the leg designs. Next, let's transform it into Centaur. This gonna use parts former type of transformation. First, remove the weapon and pull out these two rear legs. Reposition the man Centaur body part like this. Move these two packs underneath. Reposition the front legs like this way because we need to balance both front and rear legs for this mode. Reposition this leg into its original design for both left and right legs. Then use this pack here 
and slide it in inside this hole at the back. Do the same thing for the other side. Only need few minutes to custom assembling and transform. Now you have a Centaur. Of course, this is the simplest way to do it without any extreme modding or customization. I only share the basic design that you can do. If you have more parts from 30 minutes mission model kits, you can design it using your own idea. Um, you can add anything you want. And so far, I really enjoy posing this build in Centaur mode. It looks so majestic and pretty badass. No weight issue because of the custom stand at the back, helping it to hold the entire weight of this build. So before I end this video, you guys can check out my other 30 minutes mission custom builds from the same Let's Customize series. I made four legged machine, a transformable jet fighter, a transformable marine type, a transformable tank design, a transformable dual cannon tank, a watcher inspired by Horizon Zero Dawn game, and many more in the future. So thank you so much for watching. I see you guys next time in my next video. That's all for today. Ciao. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe my channel and follow me on RZ Easy Customizer Facebook page and my Instagram RZ Easy. The links are in the description down below. I do customizing, I do kit bashing, reviews, tutorials, and many more. Because here on RZ Easy Customizer, we build, we share, and we're inspired. See you guys next time. Ciao.